My name is Matt Skogard, and this is my mnemonic for all viruses for the step. I warn you now, this mnemonic is huge because you're trying to memorize 50 viruses and all their structural components. So with that, let's get started. Here's the final DNA mnemonic. And here's the final RNA mnemonic. To make these trees, we have a few patterns that we look at. We start at the most inner component, DNA, RNA, and then we work out to the most outer component. So we start with DNA versus RNA, then we look at whether it's positive, stranded, or negative stranded, and then whether it has an icosahedral capsid or a helical capsid. The convenient thing about this is whenever it has positive, it's going to be an icosahedral capsid. Whenever it's negative, it's going to be a helical capsid. And then we look at its envelope, or whether it's there or not. So if it's not, it's naked. If it's there, it's enveloped. So with that in mind, we'll start with DNA viruses. So you write DNA right there, and the first thing you look at is if it's positive or negative stranded, but DNA is always double-stranded, so you go ahead and just write positive there for the sake of completion, and the reason for that is it reminds me that all DNA is icosahedral. And I write negative down there with helical. So then from there we look at the envelope. We have naked or enveloped. And the mnemonic for the families is pap hap. Pap hap. P-A-P-P-H-H-P. -P -P -H -H -P. Then we fill in the virus families. So we start with the smallest DNA virus, and it's parvo, and then the largest DNA virus down here, and that's pox. Pox is always in a box, so I draw a box around it. What I mean by that is pox's envelope is box-shaped. Then the rest of them are adenovirus, papillomavirus, polyomavirus, Hepadnovirus, um, and herpes virus. Parvo only has B19, adenovirus only has adenovirus, papillomavirus are your HPVs, polyomavirus has both GAC and BK, hepadnovirus has HBV, and the nice thing about that is it's hepatitis, DNA virus, HBV, um, herpes virus has a bunch of them. We have HSV 1 and 2, and then we have EBV, we have CMV, we have VZV, and then we have HHVs 6 and 8. 8 is Kaposi's. Pox, we have all the pox viruses, so we have smallpox, um, cowpox, and not chicken pox, because chicken pox is VZV. And then molluscum contagiosum. Then we have a few exceptions. You draw a little circle around these guys, like that. The reason I do that is to differentiate linear DNA from circular DNA. These guys all have circular DNA, these guys all have linear DNA. You'll notice you have two H's down here, hepadna and herpes. To remember those orders, just think that these are alphabetical, P then R. Um, the other two exceptions are these guys on the outside, pox virus and parvovirus. As I said, parvo is tiny, so it actually has single-stranded DNA. It's the only one with single-stranded DNA. The other ones are all double-stranded. And it is also negative. It's just unique in all kinds of ways. Single-stranded, tiny virus. Pox virus is huge. So while all these guys replicate in the nucleus, as they are all DNA, so DNA goes to the nucleus, pox virus is so big it can't get there. So it replicates in the cytoplasm. That's it for DNA viruses. Now we're going to look at RNA viruses. And this mnemonic is a little bigger because there are a lot more RNA viruses but we follow the same order. We start with RNA. RNA is pretty much always single-stranded except in uh, one case. Um, then we look at whether it's positive or negative. And as we said, positive is always icosahedral, negative is always helical. 
and then we look at whether the envelope is there or not. So naked envelope and envelope. So we have naked envelope envelope. And the mnemonic for the families for this is pretty big. It's chirpy, crafty, bad prof. So chirpy, C H R P, crafty, C R F T, bad prof, B A D P R O F. And to fill these in, I think of this as the location viruses. This is the party viruses, and this is your grab bag viruses. So location viruses, we have California, Calisi. Um, we have Rio de Janeiro, Rio. And California people are happy, happy. And then Rio people are spicy, so we got Pico. Also known as Picorna. Um, crafty are your party viruses. So we got a little Corona. We got a retro party going on. Flava Flav is invited. And he showed up in a toga. And these guys, we got Bunya virus, Arena virus, Delta virus, Paramixo virus, uh, Rhabdo virus, Orthomixo virus, and Philo virus. So the one exception in terms of single-stranded versus double-stranded is Rio. It is double-stranded. So then we do circular versus linear DNA. The mnemonic for that, the circle is right there over bad. The mnemonic for all these little exceptions are bad or bore. What I mean by that is bad is your circular DNA component. Or is it replicates in the nucleus? Can't spell. And then bore is segmental. And I specify nucleus because these are RNA viruses. RNA likes the cytoplasm, so usually it's in the cytoplasm for replication. Except these two, or. Those go to the nucleus to replicate. And then bore is segmental DNA. Segmental is important for hypermutation. So that's stuff like influenza. It has segmental DNA, which allows it to hypermutate and gives you those huge endemic dangers. So band, we said circular DNA right there. Or is, oh, I'm going to put a diamond for that, over ortho, mixo, and retro. Retro makes sense because it's, you know, making DNA, so it goes to the nucleus. Ortho, mixo, you're going to have to remember that one, but it's the only other O, so that helps. Um... Bore, we start in this circle, we have B, and then we have this O, orthomixo, and then we have the arena virus, and then Rio, way up here. Those are all segmental, B-O-A-R. So, then we can go ahead and fill in all the viruses. So, we have a lot. Khaleesi and Rio kind of go together. Those are both the um, diary of viruses. So we have rotavirus, and then we have Norwalk, or norovirus. Rio rota. Rio also gets the cultivirus. Hep E has Hep E. Picorna, remember this was chirp? Well, its mnemonic is perch, just backwards of chirp. P-E-R-C-H. That stands for polio, echo, rhino, coxsackie, and HAV. So polio, echo, rhino, coxsackie, and then HAV. Corona gets two. It has corona and SARS. Retro has HIV and HTLV. Flavivirus. Well, I have a mnemonic for this one. It's Flava Flav is washed up or washed up. W S H D Y. So we have West Nile virus. We have St. Louis encephalitis virus. We have HCV. 
ha hepatitis C. We have dengue. And we have yellow fever. And Telga, I remember a beautiful girl riding in on her horse. So, and she's wearing a toga. So we have this rubella, this beautiful in her toga. And she's coming in on a horse. So we have eastern equine virus and western equine virus. Um, Bunya has a ton of viruses too. I remember bun catchers, another mnemonic, C-C-H-R-S, catchers, bun catchers. Um, C is for California encephalitis. And then we have another C, Crimean Congo. Um, and then Hantavirus. And then the Rift Valley slash Sandfly Virus. Bun Catchers, C C H R S. Arena has the L's. We have Lassa and LCMV. Delta has HDV, hepatitis D. Paramixo has PRM, paramixo, PRM in it. So we have para influenza. We have RSV. And we have mumps and measles. Um, PRM. Notice this has MMR in it, so watch out. It's measles, mumps, and not rubella, it's RSV. Rubella, as we said, was a toga virus. And one other note, measles is rubiola virus. Rubiola, not rubella. You will get that confused because rubella, as you know, causes German measles. This is measles. Rubiola is measles. Remember that. Rubella, Germans are really hot, so... You have German measles with rubella. Measles is rubiola. Anyways, rhabdo has rabies, and then orthomixo has only one influenza. Phylovirus has the crazy viruses. You have Ebola and Marburg. So that's all the viruses. The last two little exceptions I want to make is you wrap your fingers around a corona, kind of like a helix, so it actually has a helical um, capsid, because it's in the icosahedral group. And then rhabdo has this cool bullet-shaped envelope. So I'm going to put a little bullet next to it. Okay, that's it for all the viruses. Um, enjoy. Here's the RNA viruses one more time. There's the DNA viruses one more time. Pap, hap. And chirpy, crafty, bad prof. Thanks.